M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So with the new Anytone 578, we've got the new BT01 microphone. It's quite important, I think, to get the latest firmware and what they call the, uh, it's the band base. So let's have a look at these files I've got here that I've downloaded from Bridgecom. So go to Bridgecom here and download this one here. It says 1.17 and firmware 2.04. You need the latest firmware to run the BT01 new Bluetooth microphone. Now if you look at the actual image on the screen here, this is someone who's done it. It's the SCT3258. That's that's what you, you need to have. So what am I on about? All right, let's have a look. So. When you download those files, one of the things you'll be looking at, if we go back to the thing, is band base. See it here? Band base 3258. And when you double click here, you get a program here. So let's just double click this program, ignore that, and then run this one here, set up SCT port. Now, I, remember, I haven't got the radio. Now, I've already run it, so run this through and then click finish, okay? Like so. And you do, there are instructions, so I'll show you the instructions, which look like this. Now this is what you've got to do, you've got to update the band base on your radio. So let's have a quick look here. Press and hold, push the channel knob and the menu key and turn on the radio and the screen will show a warning, S, set up SCT port MSI, warning mode for SCT. Use the SCT cable to connect your radio and PC. Run the most current setup SCT port MSI. Okay, and we'll scroll down and it's a file that looks like this. When you double click that, follow the screen guides to set the SCT port host controller to update the band base. So you get this window. Remember, I have not got this radio, but I know that this is important if you've got the new microphone. So you'll select platform SCT 325A. Tools, then config. You've got the PC on your computer, so collect, connect the correct PC um, com. Flash update. SCT port. You, so you select on this program SCT port, then flash update. Then it says use the browse tool to select the specified baseband SCT hex file from the updated files. And I think I saw that here. It's the SCT 3258 TD. OK, TD is it something else. See it there. Now you need to get the right one for your model radio. More information there. Init port. With the radio still turned on and the programming cable attached, click on the init port to verify COM port is active. Message will show equals init port successful. Anytone 578 baseband. Select flash update button. The baseband update is now complete. So you need to do the baseband update on your radio, for on some radios. For the BT01 microphone to work. The update is now complete. Unplug the radio. So there you go. So my friend sent me this because he's had uh, quite a few messages as well about people that have had problems with this. So thanks for watching my channel. I'll put the links in the description. Now I did put the program on my desktop. Let's just see if it has turned up on my desktop. Uh, can't see it there. Let's just go like that. No, no sign of it there. I'm just looking for this base band program. There it is there, SCT port. This is what it would look like if I had the radio. But I haven't. I got the 878. And you want the 325A, click OK. I haven't got the radio. <laughs> 5073.